Hey everybody, my name is Gadam. Welcome back for the video of Lost Judgment. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and did a, a lot of things. One of those things was to fight against Kuana for no reason, just to get uh, not Kuana, but fight against the, our friend, the detective, for no reason, just because we wanted information out of him. We could have just continued talk to him. But I guess that's too much effort for us, and we gotta kick his ass in the meantime. So, uh, what am I gonna end up doing? I do have to fast travel. I gotta head back towards uh, this place right here, Izaki Road Entrance, in order to uh, look for Kuwana. Yeah, so he get, did get spotted. So maybe we can uh, get lucky and find him over there. So let me uh, fast travel there really quick. All right, here we are, boys. Went ahead and fast travel. We get a phone call. A uh, phone me. call, real quick. I have an update for you. It seems Kawana has been spotted in Ijincho. Yeah, in Komijo, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komijo. Already? They're probably going to surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana, they'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komijo. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiura chief. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. Alright then, so we got, we're gonna get some help from Sugiura as well. Which would be very helpful because for some reason Kuwana always finds a way to to uh, get off of our arms, right? Uh, out of arm's Mr. way. Yagamishi, please come in. Hey, I think I'm in front of Komijo. Indeed you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. The drone. Then you'll notice the cops. All right, well then. Around. Any way I can get in there? Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration room. All right, let's go. Way to go. So, what should I do? Can you see the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? Yeah, I can. There's a really small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. It'll be a tight squeeze, I'm sure. But I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. Okay, well, I guess that's my time now. Everybody's looking away. Come on. Gotta go now. Gotta stop uh, messing around. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Quick. Get inside. Nobody's looking. Alright, here we go. Nobody's looking. Everybody's looking away. So, time for me to... To head inside, boys. All right, here we go. We're in, we're in, we're in. Okay, so now I got to find a way to throw a queen. I got to distract this guy. I can probably move away. Oh, yeah, I got to distract him. So let's just throw a queen. He's going to get distracted. We're going to have to play some stealth again, boys, which is very bad. I'm going to get caught by this one right there. I don't think I'm supposed to go that route. Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to go that route, boys. But I think I did alright, I guess. I guess we're fine. Alright, let's just throw the coin right there. This guy's gonna be distracted. He was talking to that woman. Why is she not looking after that thing? Okay. We're past. We're past right there. Watch out now. That guy was really close. Yeah, he was moving towards me. Where should I go from here? Komi Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences. There's one door in the fence, so that's your best bet. Okay then, if you say so, let's just throw a coin again. He's gonna get distracted and go ahead, buddy. Go, uh, go check it out. All right, so I can probably get the door right here. I think I, I was supposed to get the door right there, or actually, I'm supposed to get through behind right here. Okay, got you, got you. All right, next stop. We got past that guard. Now we gotta get past these two. How the fuck am I gonna do that? I do have the smoke bomb. Oh, look. What is this? 
The drone. Can you distract them? Come on. Can I get a hand? Just leave it to me. All right, all right. That's a good job right there. Very good distraction indeed. And now we're in. Easy enough. That, that was uh, actually a lot easier than the club. The club was just another level. Was way too tough for me. But this was actually pretty easy. Tell me Kuana's in here, please. So Kuana should so be in on. here somewhere. Keep navigating for me. And let me know as soon as you find Kuana. Huh? That's weird. Hello? All right. Technical difficulties? I, th I think not. I think it's jammed. There's something jamming the uh, the connection. That's why uh, he's probably doing it. That's probably Kuana doing that. All right. Let's try and find him. We gotta find him before the cops do, boys. I don't know why we're saving his ass, but uh, we have no choice in the matter. And something bad happened here. You're Holy shit. Show yourself. Come on. Get your ass out here. Relax with the yelling, will you? You're giving away Looks our like our case. K are already here, boys. No, Not good. Relax. This shit's intense. Sukiura? Didn't Tsukumokun tell you I was on my way? Yeah, he yeah, told me. I suppose he did. How the I fuck did you get past the security guards? Does that mean RK beat the police to Kawana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? I wouldn't no, at this point. No They're working together. Some cops are working with RK. But why? Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kawana. So they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Insane or not, I need to get to Kawana before RK or the cops do. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, why would Kawana-san come to Komichu? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komichu here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kawana is. Eh, worth a shot. As long as we don't give ourselves away. Maybe if you start talking for two seconds, they won't hear you. Alright, let's find out really quick. We gotta get past these guys. Someone is bound to see us though. How they're not seeing us, that's crazy. Alright, well... At least we got some help. We got some reinforcements from Sugara, which is really good. I mean, Sugara, when you think about it, is doing more help than Ka Kaido has ever done for me in, in the entire game. That shit's crazy. That looks like a lot of RK muscle. I know Kaido's out of the picture now, but yeah. But if that many still, it's not an excuse. The silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them then. I don't see anywhere else we can go. So let's go up those stairs. Alright, well, let's stop talking then. Let's go up those stairs. We don't have to sneak anymore, so that's at least a good thing. I don't have to worry about uh, getting spotted or anything. Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami san, we've got our cake coming in from below too. Let's find another route on this floor. Alright then. Another route, boys? Well, I'm guessing right here, I, I mean, there's literally uh, an arrow pointing me towards that place. So, clearly that's where we want to go. I should be able to jump over that side. Yeah, it's clearly telling me where to go. It's super obvious. It's not, it doesn't get more obvious than that. Yeah, we should be able to get up from here. There we go. I was that nimble. Taking the same route as Sugara is going to be tough. I'll have to make my way up somehow. How's it going to be tough? I can literally make the same route. 
All right, whatever. We already know where we want to go. Let's go. I already know that's where I'm supposed to go anyway, so... I like how we're just complicating our, or complicating our own lives for no reason. We could have just done the same thing he just did. We're as, as flexible as him. Well, I just... Well, never mind, because I just fell off somehow. All right, let's try this again. Try this again without falling to our death this time, please. Why did we complicate our lives like that? Did you not see Sagari? He just made it in two seconds. We had to literally Work, take two minutes to climb up there. Yo, you guys are Comey Jewel. Uh, all this for dead? Oh, huh? come on. Comey Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Lead the way, would you? Yagami san, they seem like RK. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. Hey, so, let's bullshit them. Take them down? Yeah. Why? Oh, you gotta be sh Why are we fighting them? Yagami, you've got a problem. Yagami has a problem, boys. He's just... He just can't help himself but to fight people. He just can't... It's, it's like a, a weak... Uh, a sickness at this point. Like, he cannot help himself uh, from doing that. Like, honestly. He's gotta do it. He can't talk to people, or he can't bullshit him his way out of it. He's just gotta, he can't, like, he's gotta absolutely fight these guys for no reason. He doesn't even need to. Like, he didn't even need to fight these guys right there, but hey, he decided to do, uh, do it, I guess. This guy has gotta, like, start thinking and start of acting. Yagami -san. Fucking Looks Yagami, like man. Pissing me off sometimes. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. For all the times he wasted trying to talk to Sayori or like trying to interrogate people, when it's actually the time to uh, to actually waste time, you know, and uh, get uh, get the uh, the long route about it and actually t like try and uh, be with the RK. He goes in full uh, full sign. stupid uh, we'll mode and lucky? just starts attacking them for no reason. Go, just like he did with Nabe. Attacks him for no reason. Gotta, gotta get ready first? Nah, I'm ready. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Seems like a point of no return right here, boys. Man, where is this fucking guy? It's just taking forever. Yeah, it's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Then what do we do? Keep looking? Is there a fucking point? Seems like Kawana-san's giving him a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kawana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What, you gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So, two each. Piece of cake. I guess. Okay, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Got a couple questions for you. Huh? Who the hell are you two? You with the Komei Jewel? Wow, <laughs> they don't even recognize you, Yagami-san? Well, that's kind of sad. What's going on here? That's more than two uh, for people. That's way more. Uh, Yagami-san? I don't think it's just two each anymore. Yagami? Hey, that's the detective from Komurocho. A detective? Just get him! They're with Kitakata! Fuck yeah. Let's get it started. Hope you're ready to die. <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit. I got what's Great. with the hippie Boy. look? We're not in the 60s anymore. You know that, right? All right, you take one side, I take the other. Let's go then. Let's do this. And we're just going to go ahead and do the EX action right there. There we go. And uh, now I guess it's time to kick your ass as well. All right, bring you down with a judo takedown. And... Just like that. All right. How about... How about I do this to you? DDT on your ass. That's what you get for holding a gun on me right there. Boom. There we go. Boom. All right. EX action right here. Let's go. Let's do it. Finish him off. Just like that. All right. There we go. Anybody wants to fight? Come on. Come on. Man. I want to do a, a takedown right there. There we go. Perfect, boys. Wall takedown right here. Boom. There we go. 
And we're just gonna equip our uh, official speed right there. Boom, all right, there we go. There's one down right here. Just like that, we're doing so much damage, boys. Look at me go. Boom, all right, this guy's done for. EX action again. And there's just a big dude uh, that's left right here. Or actually, there's a little bit more left. There we go. Whoa, watch out now. Can I not hide? Okay, please. Can I not dodge or something? Seems like when I get hit one time, I can't dodge anymore. EX action. There we go, buddy. That's what you get right there. That's what you get. Oh, shit. Watch out now. Whoa, no, you don't. There we go. Boom. All right. He's gone. He's done for, boys. We got him. That was pretty close right there. 8k points. I love to see that. Is that all you got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. You guys came looking for Kiwana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. Uh, not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know. Who gave the order here? Soma? It was Akusa-san. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh, Yagami-san? Who are those? Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. You live here? Then you must be Komicho. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman. But this time, it was Kuana asking the favor. Put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with and how they'd respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jincho then? We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Why are you looking at me? Sorry. As you said, Kuwana's returned to Ijincho. There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Ryoma. But you're cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kuwana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Guess you're not so bad after all. Bear in mind, you may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. And never mind. More gangs to uh, contend with, boys. Interesting. Find Kuwana-san. I'm sure the Lyuma will lead us to him. As so happens, I've got a brother there named Tesso. What exactly? Now let's get a brother. Changes his mind. We do have the mercenary Tesla. He is on our side, and he did call us his brother. So uh, he's definitely going to be willing to help us out. We've got some skill points. About 38 of them we can use abilities. 13k points. Um, Ox ex gauge. I'm going to do that. There we go. Upgraded to level three. That's going to be perfect. All right, here we go. Let's continue. Where is the hideout exactly? All the way over there. I think I can get on foot uh, easily. So let's get on foot over there. Uh, I guess I'll skip ahead a little bit. I don't want to uh, waste uh, some time for you guys. So I'll just go ahead and transition real quick. All right, we're here. The problem is we're getting chased by some goons right here, which so is not good. Tesso-san told me to let you in. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yakami Aniki. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Saiguru? Kuana's back there. Maybe I should prep before I get in. Nah, sh let me pass. I'm ready. Sure. Let me pass. 
This way, please. What's up, Tessel? Do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take a seat. And you too, buddy. This'll be fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata's a name that's been all but murdered by society. Any Jincho? I'm just a merry old handyman, Kuana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect, Kitakata. After killing Salasensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? So so see, I got a problem with this guy that you're hiding right now. Pretended to not know each Might be my bro, but you're hiding out somebody that's my enemy. That's case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Can you be more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiyaraku. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just over at Komi Jewel, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? Who has influence over both RK and the police? Here to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Who? I just heard this from Detective Watanabe. The ones looking for Kuwana. Well, the Vice Minister. Public security? No, he did say public security. Uh, it, it's not the red knife. Yeah, we think it's the vice minister. We think it's her, but we can't say that for sure. So we gotta say public security because that's what uh, Nabe told us. The public security division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawasensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawasensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? Why is public after Kuwana? Likely the wishes of a specific individual, I should say. They're trying to preserve RK? Nope. They're protecting the prosecution? Nope. They're working with uh, Reiko Kusumoto. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my thinking right there. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, vice minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kawana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, Mitsuru that painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawaii out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? 
She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. She's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontract an RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. And what's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means, Kusumoto-san isn't the one giving them orders. Really? She was giving orders to public security. She could have gotten to Kuana much quicker. That is true, but still, I think like she's trying to get the long route. Maybe. Sure. That makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but what was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO, and that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto-san. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. So she's a murderer. She Kawai herself? Interesting. So we got a confession about murder about the Ministry of Health right here. So she's going to prison as well. That's great. Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day, five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. And who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health. Or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Whoever's behind Arcane Public Security must be an enemy of Areikos Kusumoto. It seems to be the most logical train of thought. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health anytime she wants. Plus, she has the public support, especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. Like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. So whoever's behind this may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. 
They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago. Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawai makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. It leads straight to her, Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah, and then, to Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link, Sawa-sensei. Took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was RK. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa-sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except... Sawa-sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. But no. she did, and that's your fault, buddy. You get to just brush her it's off all your that. fault. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down with this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like you and Mamiya go down with you. By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa Sensei died in tears. You didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara, Reiko Kusamoto, you're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me, will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. So what now then? March to the cops and turn myself in? You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? Nothing is justified. Murder she is never did. justified, my guy. Stop it. The scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her. I'll do more than lay a finger on her, my guy. You're going to be sorry for this shit. Looks like this is going to turn into a little more than a chat. Good thinking. So We're gonna fight again. Kill me too. Anyone who interferes with your justice, we all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell. Man, fuck this dude. So annoying. I still got the low health. All right. Let me stop it right here, boys. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.